Corey in the gun. Once again, three wide receivers to the right. Giddens flanks him to the right. One isolated receiver. Goggins left. Corey rolls right, throws underneath, completes it to Bussy. Bussy turns up field, has the ball popped out near the goal line. There's a mad scramble for the ball in the back of the end zone, and it is a touchback after the recovery by Washburn Burrell. The Junior Blues defense stands in a scoreless game, 6.25 to go in the first, and they are able to keep Junction City out of the end zone. Under 5.40 to go in the opening period. Two-by-two two set for the Junior Blues. Bar on the Ball on the far right hash. It's another RPO. We're looking down the field. Carlgren's going to chuck it. He's got a man open. It's Tibbetts. Tibbetts on the left numbers. Gets the catch at the 30-yard line and is pushed ahead up to the 27. Carlgren keeps it again on the read option. Throws it deep against the grain and is able to hit Tibbetts for the big gain. First down, Washburn Rural. That's a 41-yard field goal attempt coming for Fredrickson. And he's got the win behind him, though. Fredrickson gets ready. Low snap. The hold is up. The kick by Fredrickson. End over end, and it is pure. What a kick by Fredrickson to put the first three points of the game on the board. 3.23 to go in the first. Washburn Rural takes a 3-0 lead over Junction City. Trips bunch right for Junction City on first and 10. Corey sprints to the right. Now he's looking deep for Wilkie again. To the right shoulder at the 35. He's got wide open green grass in front of him. 10-5 touchdown Junction City. A 65-yard bomb from Andrew Corey to Russell Wilkie right down the right sideline. The Junction City Blue Jays respond quickly going up 6-3 over Washburn Rural. Blue Jays up over the Junior Blues 7-3. Smoot. Gets a bouncing snap to him, has plenty of time, rugby-style kick. It's a missile to the 32-yard line, eventually picked up by George for Junction City. He starts on the left sideline, runs back right. He is wrapped up, loses the ball as he goes to the turf. There's a scramble for it. Rural thinks they have it, and the Junior Blues do have it. However, important to note, there is a flag back behind the play at the 36-yard line. That flag may determine whose ball it is. It's going to go against Junction City. Carl Grin, the quarterback, waits for the play. He's got two receivers and a wing to the right. Receiver and running back left. Takes the snap. Shallow drop. Pumps once to the right. Now he goes for it all. Deep into the end zone. It's a jump ball. Leaping and grabbing it. Touchdown, Junior Blues. Robbie Bolin goes up, hauls the ball out of the air, and scores from 25 yards out. 9-7, to seven, Washburn Rural. They take the lead with 1 minute 9 seconds to go until the break. The hold will be placed down at the 24-yard line. So call it a 34-yard field goal attempt for Field, his first of the season, one on the clock. High snap. The hold is down, and the kick is blocked by the Junior Blues. The blocked ball will bounce over to the sideline. Rural recovers it. Time expires on the first half, and what an exclamation point on the opening 24 minutes for Steve Bueller's Wild Bunch defense. Adams. To the right-hand side of his quarterback, Carlgren, who barks out the signals, waits for the snap, takes it, and once again, a give to Adams. This time, he'll sweep to the left. He has a hold back up the middle, to midfield, to the 40, to the 30. Can anyone catch Adams? To the 20, to the 10. He's into the end zone. Play the fight song. Touchdown, Junior Blues. 62 yards to Pater for McKentis Adams. The sophomore sprints down the far sideline, and Washburn Rural extends its lead. 9.45 to go in the third. His running back, D.J. Giddens, switches from his right side to his left. One receiver to the left, three to the right. Fake handoff behind the back by Corey. Now he's going to move off to his left. Has to roll near the sideline. Throws against the grain. He's got a completion of Russell Wilkie at the 45. Breaks one tackle. All the way up to the 30, to the 20. Wilkie with a foot race to the end zone. Gets past one defender. Breaks the tackle. And he's in. One play, 63 yards. And Junction City is right back in this one. Russell Wilkie, another deep touchdown, and Junction City cuts it down to a four-point game with the extra point coming. Two receivers left, Tibbetts and Bowling. The wing to the right is Hanks. Adams in the backfield. Carl Grin takes it in the gun. Short drop. Throws it deep. He's got a man open. Bowling on the left seam. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Junior Blues. Fourth down at 12. Carl Grin with an absolute dime. 20 yards down the field. Bolin does the rest, and the Junior Blues extend their lead again. 23 to 14, 450 to go in the third. Same formation, three wide receivers, wide side left. Giddens in the backfield to the left of Corey. Corey takes it, designed boot to the left. He wants it all, looking down the field, will throw it underneath instead to Wilkie. Wilkie at the 10, cuts it up. He makes contact inside the five, and he is down at the one. 
They make up for the penalty yardage on the hole. Now they're racing right back to the line. Two receivers to the right. Giddens in the backfield. 30 seconds on the clock. Corey Waits takes the snap. It is kept. Throws to a wide open man on the right side of the end zone. Marcelo Bussey is left completely uncovered. He is open for the touchdown pass. And with 28 seconds to go in the third, Junction City back on top, 26-24. A minute and 20 seconds gone in the fourth quarter. Smoot gets it. Another good snap this time. Steps into it, not rugby style. It's a spiraling punt that will bounce at the 23-yard line. Take a phenomenal bounce for Rural. Oh, it, and it's Coffin it Corner at the two-yard line. Oh, man. A 58-yard punt. 3.15 on the game clock. Corey Waits takes the snap, bobbles it before spinning and handing to Wilkie. Wilkie's got a first down and more. All the way to the 35-30. Cuts up field to the 20. Gets to the 15 and is eventually hauled down from behind. Out of bounds, which is significant, but not before a big gain for Russell Wilkie. Blue Jays, even with the clock stopped, are in no hurry. DJ Giddens to the right of Andrew Corey. Corey takes the shotgun snap, hands to Giddens, goes right up the hole, bursts through, gets to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Junction City. 2.46 to play, and that is a back-breaking score by the Blue Jays.